All right, AT&T countdown to kick off. Galaxy, you ready, Jason? Let's do it. Three, two, one. After 20 days away, the five stripes are now back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's been 20 days. We got to do something better than this. What? What? Come on. We got to be creative or something. Let's do this. Okay, all right. Uh, I got it. We'll grab one of the balls for tomorrow. Take a couple touches, keepy ups. We already, we already did that. Tricks. We did that last time. Okay, all right, you're right. Uh, we'll get a bite to eat, a dish. We always find somewhere, a little bit of city flavor. We've city done of that angels, too. La, la, la. We've already done that. Wait a minute, you hear that? I think I got an idea. Nine matches to go, ninth in the East in MLS, and 10 toes in the sand. That's more like it. That's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Fryhofer. This is your AT&T countdown to kickoff. Jason, it's been 20 days since the Five Stripes' last official match, and what Rob Valentino described as a mini preseason for him to work in some tactics and get used to some new arrivals for the Five Stripes. Yeah, think back to when Rob took this team over. You had games in the midweek. You had Open Cup games. You didn't have time to work on the way he wants this team to play not in detail anyway I think we've seen the set pieces from Liam Curran already start to come into focus whether it's off the kickoff whether it's Dion Gregerson flying through the air on corners but now it's about the game model you've had time to work in the way this team wants to defend in the way this team wants to transition into offense back to defending and the way that this team can be more dangerous and that's what you need to see against the LA Galaxy one of the most dangerous teams in MLS the Five Stripes kept up competitiveness during this break as well. They did an inter-squad friendly not too long ago, getting ready to take on the number one side in the Western Conference of MLS, third in the league in scoring. And Jason, it's all about the three Ps. Pooch, Peck, and Paintsill up top. Lots of talent in this attack. Greg Vanny has talked about his front six. You didn't mention Diego Fagundes. You didn't mention Mark Delgado. You didn't mention Edwin Cerrillo. He wants to make that front six a front eight, a front nine, a front 10, whatever he can do to get all of them on the field. And oh yeah, he's adding Marco Royce into that mix. So we'll see how that works. Let's get to those three Ps. Ricky Pooch, such a Barcelona kind of player. I know you love that style of play. I do too. Talented on the ball. He's the engine of this team's attack. And I think he's the engine of this team's personality as well. But then you add those wingers that the Galaxy have added this season in Gabriel Peck and Joseph Paintsill. They're so dynamic. They've transformed this team to be the best in the West up to this point. Dejan Jovalich coming back from injury. He's a very different number nine than Joseph Paintsill, who played the number nine last match. Marco Royce has been known to play a little bit of a false nine. Is that an option in this one? Three very different kinds of nines that Atlanta United could be facing tonight. And oh, by the way, for the Five Stripes, one totally new weapon, Garth Lagerwey, Carlos Boca Negra. They went out and got a player in his prime from European top competition and with all the desire in the world of taking us through the MLS playoffs and winning that elusive cup. He is Alexi Miranchu coming from Atalanta to Atlanta, Europa winner just this past season as well. A playmaker, a cerebral player, a guy who sees a different kind of vision out on the field. And you and I saw that in training yesterday ahead of this one. Yeah, we need to get his pregame playlist as well. We'll be working on that one for you all down the road. But he's so quick, and it's not about pure speed. It's not about sprinting speed. It's not about a race. It's about how he thinks, and it's about his technique. He's ahead of schedule in the way that he sees the game play out. He's always that step ahead. That means he's in the right places on the field. That means he sees where the game is going to open up with his passes. And those passes and the shots that he takes, he's got such a quick release. We talk about quick release typically when we're talking about Kirk Cousins, we're talking about Michael Penix. He's got that as well. Watch his highlights, watch how he plays. He doesn't need a, a big backlift in the way that he shoots and the way that he hits that big switch. He's so fast and it's because he's technical. He can control the ball so quickly because he's got that technique and that allows this team to play faster in my opinion. Kickoff set for this one from Carson, California, 10.30 p.m. Eastern through the MLS season pass on Apple TV. So 17s, move that coffee time to a little bit later. Stay up with us for a little bit of MLS nightlife. Now on the radio, this match will be carried not only through 92.9, the game, Jason Longshore and Mike Conti as well, but you've also got a serious XM channel 157 for this one too. MLS After Dark, it's been a thing for Atlanta United out here in California. We'll see if that's going to be the case tonight. 
9.30 pregame coverage starts with the Five Stripes Countdown. Abe Gordon, Garrett Chapman, they've got you handled from the studio back in Atlanta. Mike and I will take over just before kickoff. Hopefully you can hang out with us on 92.9 The Game or the Odyssey app. That's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Fryhofer with 10 toes in the sand. This has been your AT&T Countdown to kickoff. 10.30 LA Galaxy. We'll see you then.